Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on, Fly here? Welcome back to the channel. So in the day's video, we're gonna finally be checking out the new TD, the Object 268. This one was actually one of my first playthroughs, or I wanted this to be my first playthrough of the new patch, but you guys wanted the Puma, and you know, I give the people what they want to see. Uh, so this kind of got pushed to the rear of the new tanks and planes that we were playing. But after this video, Guys, we're back to request series. We haven't done a request series in maybe a month. Like, I haven't put someone's uh, YouTube username or comment in a video in over a month. At least it feels like that. So comments below, blow up what you guys want to see. The Object 268, battle rating 7.7, 152 millimeter M64 cannon. A 14.5 millimeter machine gun, 0.5 more millimeter for the cannon title. So the armor on this thing is, it's not too shabby. Actually, it's flipping insane. Lower glacis, 120 sloped 49. Upper glacis, 120 sloped 56. Turret's unbelievable. Look at that slopage and the effective thickness right there. And, oh my god, 7.7. .7. It doesn't fucking matter! Who fucking cares? Why? Sometimes I feel like I'm playing with just, like, toy tanks and not tanks when heat fin stabilizes there. I just wish that, like, I don't know. I feel like heat fin stabilize should be against a counter. Like, reactive armor or something like that. Like, that. that's my biggest gripe with War Thunders, that they add a lot of things that don't have any counters to them. Like, if you're going to add ATGMs, add fucking smoke. If you're going to add heat fin stabilize, add reactive armor. I mean, like, now, sure, some of these tanks didn't have reactive armor, but when the first tanks did have reactive armor, boom, BR, heat fin stabilized reactive armor, not heat fin stabilized on, like, like look, 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 uh, 5.3. I don't know. It just kind of kills me inside some time. Comments below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Here we go. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. What the fuck is that? Oh, wow. Good job. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm just going to take my fucking headphones off right now. I'll be back in once it's done. This is done. What is this? Oh, okay. There goes one big boy. Oh god, another. Oh gosh. Okay, who killed the IT? Oh gosh. Okay, I'm, I'm retreating, guys. I'm retreating. Retreating. Oh my god. Where are the last? Ah. Uh, okay. What is this? Oh. What the fuck is <laughs> Oh, that's even short. The 400 millimeter penetration sabot. Sabo. Eh, yeah, sure. We'll just shit some smoke out. No problem. I mean, like, anything we did this match would have been pointless. Holy crap. This sounds fun. Okay, everyone, I'm dead. Yep. We tried. We tried. Oh, God. How you doing? Stabilize. Heat fin 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 stabilize. I feel helpless right now. I just really do.
Hey, you guys know what just happened right there? La la dee, la la dee, la la dee, la la dee. Oh my god. Really? Oh my god, we bounced though? Bye. Welcome back to the gameplay. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Completely not salty fly daily coming back at you with grade A gameplay here. I just want to just overall feeling of the 268 is it does everything well. Everything. Seriously. No cons at all. Only pros. A, a tank that was needed to fill a void in Warfare. But salty jokes aside, let's talk about this calmly and kind of bring to light why this tank has no place in War Thunder at this BR. So, just a disclaimer, I'm not saying this tank can't get kills or you can't get an ace with it. It's just, it's not as competitive as the other tanks in the game. And also a disclaimer, I'm not a big fan of TDs. And you might be asking yourself, why did you make this video? Good question. But continuing on, what does this tank do well? The only the only thing I can see is one sh one shot. We got a very powerful gun, or at least a big gun. And so when we get on target, and if we you know have a decent shot to where we can penetrate, chances are we're going to kill. But with that aside, what does it do bad? So let's just say there's two ways of playing a TD, you know, a generic way of sniping. And we'll start with that. So let, let's say we're trying to snipe with the object 268, which is very possible and not that hard. Uh, but the problem is, is that every other tank at this BR in the game Okay, did that just spark off him? Hopefully it hit the fucking mound. Sweet! But every tank is better at sniping than us in the game. Enemy tanks can put more shots on me than I can put on them. You gotta move, buddy. There's somebody right there. There we go, good. So if, if I'm trying to snipe this at far range, and luckily we have a decent BR this game, uh, enemy guns have our higher velocity. They have more penetrating power. They fire faster. And most of the time, they're ATGM. So me sniping, it doesn't, it's, it's not effective as the other team is. And let's say I take this thing urban. I don't have a turret. I have a slower reload. Um, and they're going to penetrate my armor because there's a, well, there's a massive weak spot to the right, of the, to the left of the gun. And so there's two play styles taken out that where I'll be effective on. Now, I'm not saying that you can't get kills with this thing. You can. It's just, wow, that guy is sneaky breaky. Let's pull back. What the fuck? I don't even know where that came from. Ooh, sneaky breaky. What the fuck? Did you guys even see where he shot from? Okay, on the, on the repair. 32 seconds. God, he damaged me good. Let's call for some backup here. 
it's just more it's just more challenging than the other tanks and uh i i think the only reason why this thing was added was is as a grind tank it doesn't do anything good other than one sh one shotting which a lot of tanks can one shot in the game come on 11 seconds eight five should we go reverse left or forward right i think reverse left should do it So here we have an example. We have an RU251, which I can't do anything against. Yeah. Nothing. It's just, it's it's too much work for too little reward with this tank. And I, I, I absolutely do not recommend this tank at all. It doesn't do anything well but one shot it. I mean, why, why use this tank when you can use a T44-100 or a T54? There's no point. Hope you have enjoyed this video. I I don't want to sound too uh, negative or salty after this. I'm just laying down the facts of how it's been for me. If you guys have experienced this in the Object 268, please feel free to comment down below. But, you know, one thing's apparent is that War Thunder is adding vehicles that <laughs> they just put them into the game. They don't really think about how they'll perform or what they'll bring or take away from the game. But guys, hope you have enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Peace out.